I'm Megan Reyna. And I'm Marie Waxel. Way 31 is following NASA's mission to return American astronauts to the moon. Way 31 News anchor Dan Schaefer joins us live from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where history being made with the first rollout of the new SLS rocket to the launch pad. Dan? <laughs> Meg Megan and Marie, I'm telling you, it is history in the making at a place that is steeped in the history of space travel here in the United States. I'm live outside the Vehicle Assembly Building here at the Kennedy Space Center. You see those giant bay doors. That is High Bay 3. 45 minutes it takes to open those doors. They started this process about a half an hour ago. Just on the inside of that building is the Space Launch System rocket. In about five hours, the Space Launch System rocket, that SLS, will move from here on a crawler about four miles to our northeast to launch pad 39B for what NASA calls a wet dress rehearsal. It's the final test before an actual launch. And I mentioned the history here at KSC. Of course, most people realize this is America's spaceport, and they called it that for a reason. Uh, Apollo, everybody knows about those. Apollo missions were started here. They lifted off from these same launch pads uh, 50 years ago, uh, from the 1960s to the early 1970s. They first put us on the moon, of course, and then we continued on with our exploration at the ISS and the shuttle missions, 135 of them lifted off from here. Right now, we have private industry, which is using these facilities. SpaceX launches from right here as well. Now, it's the future. It's the SLS and Artemis. And we can take you inside the VAB here to show you what it looks like uh, as the SLS gets prepped for rollout, this new heavy lift rocket is the most powerful ever built. Today, we will get to see it outside complete for the first time. It's capable of launching astronauts and equipment that they need to establish a long-term presence on the moon. That's important. It's a crucial difference between Apollo and Artemis. Apollo proved that we can get to the moon and back safely. Well, since then, we made a lot of discoveries on the moon. There's a lot of ice on the moon. We can use that frozen water for fuel to eventually send astronauts to Mars, and that is the long-term plan. So by establishing a sustainable presence on the moon, NASA can perfect all those techniques and technologies to get to Mars. And today, again, we're going to see SLS for the first time. It's a decade of design and development, testing, checkout, all managed at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, and it all comes down to this final test of all the symptoms, uh, systems, I should say. Media from around the world are here to cover this event. We're, of course, here because so many of our friends and neighbors in North Alabama have dedicated their lives over the last 10 years to making this day a reality. First movement of SLS is scheduled for 4 o'clock this afternoon, Central Time. We, of course, will have live coverage all afternoon and throughout the evening as this uh, historic event uh, unfolds. Coming up at 1130, I'm going to explain a little bit more about exactly what a wet dress rehearsal is, why it's so important as this final test before humans eventually get into space aboard the uh, SLS. Reporting live here at Kennedy Space Center, I'm Dan Schaefer, Way 31 News.